Some important lessons learned in addressing the e-volley outbreak were how this is an industry that really demands some regulatory oversight. There are some lack of health science knowledge in a lot of the companies, especially the smaller companies, and there's a lack of appreciation for what needs to be done to ensure that something is safe. We need to make sure that the, the government, the, the knowledge base of, of toxicologists is, is interjected in this equation to make sure that they do what's really best for public health as well as for their own companies. My perspective for a long time, and, and it's only been reinforced with the Evali outbreak, is that e-cigarettes should be legal as a tool to help people get off of nicotine addiction, but they should not be used as recreational product, and, and that's how they're being marketed. That's how they're being pushed into you know, high schools and middle schools. So forensic toxicology was, was front and center trying to understand what is in the juice, what is in the vape juice itself, uh, what, were, what was actually in the lungs of patients who were ending up in the hospital. And of course, in the, in the background, we have you know, dozens, if not hundreds of basic toxicologists still studying different ingredients that are popping up all the time, different flavors, different vehicle, you know, the, the, the propylene glycol, the vegetable glycerin, so many chemicals go into this. And it could be individual chemicals that are bad for you. It could also be mixtures and combinations. We need to look at the toxicology, look at the history of these products, even going back to Big Tobacco, since Big Tobacco now owns most of the e-cigarette products, and say, look, this needs to be a prescription type of approach. You need to have a medical authority of some sort involved in making sure that the tool is being used properly to get people off of nicotine. There are a million things you can put in your stomach that you shouldn't put in your lungs. There's just not many things you can put in your lungs that are actually safe.